Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is going to be an explanation video on lasers and how the animation for the lasers aren't what actually deals damage. It's actually just when you left click to fire the laser to the reticule and you guys will see exactly what I mean when we get in here. I'm just going to use the uh, custom game lobby to get this started. All right, Q should pop shortly. There we go. All right, so I'm hopping on Star Guard here. First thing we're going to shoot you, or shoot you. First thing we're going to show you is um, heavy lasers with range capacitor, which have about 8,600 range, but we're just going to be a little shy of that. Um, showing you that when you left click the damage happens instantly at that the uh, the animation takes much longer to get there and we're gonna I'll show you that with the use of feedback shield as well and how that hap the damage from feedback happens immediately not when the laser arrives at the target the only, the only mechanical way that uh, the game actually tracks the, the speed the visual speed of the laser is where it chooses to draw the reticule Maybe we'll show that too. Yep. Come on, game. Let's go. <laughs> I'll be on a TZ24 Enforcer, which makes a little bit more graphical difference than the other one. I won't be doing much of the testing. You'll see. Jacko, you're on a Star Guard, right? Yep, Star Guard. All right. All right. Move up to Odds and and stop. Are you stopped? Yeah, I'm stopped. Okay, I'm just going to move up to 8400 here. So, you can see that I'm in range, and if I fire a laser, it draws the laser, right? That just makes sense. Left click, laser fires draws the laser to where my cursor is. So if I fire at Autzen, you can see that the damage is instantaneous even though the laser has that far to travel, right? Click, laser happens. So go ahead and turn um, feedback shield on. I'm putting my shields to back here so that you're gonna see that I'm gonna take hull damage almost instantly. So three, two, one, click. And I take damage basically when I press left click here. The other thing, thing to show. Yeah, now, if it was based on a physical laser, you'd expect a laser to have had to transit all the way over there before he took the damage. Instead, he took it instantly. Right. If I fire on the sides of the reticule, he'll still take damage here, but the laser won't won't travel through him. Hudson, can you show that back here? Fire at me a couple yep. of times. Right, this is going to be a center shot. Okay, center shot. All right, and then a side shot. You can see that I take the damage way before the laser gets here. Okay. Give me okay, a couple so more I... just to show. So those ones aren't hitting me. So I'd like to shoot Otzen in a second once we're down here. There we go, cool. Perfect. All right, so now Vrain is going to shoot at Otzen. So I want first. I want to make sure that that my laser appears to actually strike him while I'm shooting him, which it should. Mm -hmm. Did it look like it hit him? Kind of was like looked a little bit off on my screen, but we saw the laser travel and we saw him take damage. Yeah. So now we're, we're going to want to watch the blue of his shields. The okay. moment I click, you're going to see Up the blue here, of guys. his shields go down. Then a brief amount of damage, a brief amount of time later then you'll actually see the, the laser apply. So the damage should apply first. So you'll see my laser come in afterward. So damage, laser. I'll wait for it to go to full shield again, and then I'll do it again. All right, see so he's at 100, damage, and then we saw the laser. I'm gonna show another thing. Okay. So I happen to be real close to an asteroid, um, and on the TZ-24, even though your shots still take place from the center, like on every other ship, the actual physical nature of the TZ-24 is such that there's a, a, a really big wing off to the left. So I'm going to position myself so that um, Odson is 
within uh, is, is shootable by me, but not shootable by the physical laser that I'm actually firing. So you should see the damage take place. You should see me shoot and my laser stop. And then after the laser is stopped, then you should actually see um, the, uh, the, like, uh, then you should see him take damage. Let's see if I have that right. All right, did, was, did a physical laser go to him? Yes. Oh, it's still dead? Okay. Yeah, still dead. Still doing it. I didn't get a good spot. Okay. Yeah, still doing it. Okay. This laser's actually, like, really digging into the asteroid. I'm going to find a different asteroid. Okay. All right, do the next thing while I find a new position. Cool. So, the next thing I want to show you is something that Otson just showed me today, where if you press left-click on the target and then quickly drag your reticule off of it, you'll deal the damage, and then the laser will fire, like, where your ship is pointing at the time because it's planning to shoot straight, and then the laser just fires straight. So, here, I'm going to show you that. So you can see how they take damage, but the laser fires to the left. That was like really far. So yeah, and then Otson, if you could do that back, just to show them what it looks like from over here. So now I'm taking damage, but you can see the lasers are like way off. Go ahead. Yeah. It's the same shot. It's hard to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And I'll show one more thing frame before we go back to you. So if you click really quickly to fire your shot, you can actually fire an invisible shot. Now, if I'm firing a normal shot, you could see my weapon power going down just to the left of my arc, the little yellow bar. But if you click really fast, like that, see how I'm losing weapon power? Damn it. There we go, I'm losing weapon power, but there's nothing animating. I'm actually firing shots, and I'll show this to you by doing it to Odson if I can. Of course, now it's not going to work. God damn it. All right, I'm going to let you get shields and try again. It's really hard to do. You have to click super quick. Just wait for shields here. I'll try to do it a couple more times off of them. Now I can't do it anymore. There we go. First try. So one out of every ten times it works. Yeah, yeah. Out. It's not it's not a lot, but it could explain what's going on. Yeah. Just every percent of the time. Right. <laughs> every time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, that, I that one you fire. This actually works better, ironic, yep. with with light lasers and rapid fires. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty easy to replicate this if you go into the uh, uh, into the training thing because I've seen this before. And I was like, what's going on? But no, it just doesn't animate it sometimes. It's just animation bug. All right, All right. So I think I have a position where I can damage Odson, but my laser will be visibly intersected by the asteroid. Let's All watch right. the asteroid get me wrong again. Right, give it ready? a shot. Yep. All right. Odson's at maximum shields. There we go. He's... We saw him take damage, and his laser hit the asteroid. All right. I so we're going to wait. Few times. Yeah. We're going to wait till Odson's at full, and we're going to show that a couple more times here. All right. And then I'm going to pivot. Because right now, I'm, I have my wing really close to the asteroid. Yep. I'm going to pivot so my wing is no longer there. And then I'm going to strafe a bit closer. At that point, I will not have line yep. of sight. Won't be able to hit him, but it'll look like I... Mm -hmm. So there's another shot. You saw that happen with the, yep. uh, the, the shield took damage. We're waiting for it to heal again. Yep. But the actual laser bolt, the, 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 the physical animated bolt, is just getting intercepted by the asteroid. This is not like an exploit or any weird thing. This is just how the game is. Because on my screen, I can see him just fine. And... Like, because I'm aimed directly at him. My shots originate from the center of my screen and nowhere else ever. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to rotate 180 degrees. Yep. And then, I'm, like, I'm going to strafe a little bit closer to the rock. I think that the laser will now, animated-wise, it will actually hit Austin, but physically, but, like, mechanically, it will not. The actual game mechanics will forbid. Yeah, so now I can just hold this down. The lasers appear to be going to Austin. I like you know, just have to trust me here. I have him directly yeah. in the middle of the screen under the reticule, but the rock is now in the way for odds. I'm going to show you block the middle of my screen. Yeah, I'm going to come in really close here and just show you what Frayne's doing. Like front center here. See how the gun is on one side? See from this angle, you can just barely not see Odson, right? But the laser's on the outside, so you see how he's. This is how he's firing, right? Right now, flip your ship. 
So now he's just making it like this so that he can see Odson. See how it's strafing in here? And now this laser is going to fire. See how it's hitting? It's hitting the wall, but Odson's taking damage. Now, again, every ship has the same exact thing. It's just a yeah. little more obvious on the Enforcer Gladiator, the model, the, the cartel Type 1 strike model. I mean, I can kind of show it, I think, by... Like, I'm my, my left back. laser hits the wall. Yeah, you can make it so your left laser hits the wall, your right laser doesn't. And then you'll, you'll still take full damage. You won't yeah. take half damage from that. You'll take full Where? Whereas, like, as soon as I get these gray checker markers, I can hold this down. Now it's blocking all the shots. Nope. That's, sorry, the ones on the right are going through, right? Yeah, You're getting one on laser? My, 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 yeah, on my screen, Odson's being hit by lasers. Yeah, so that's that's what we wanted to show you guys. Anything else anyone wanted to say? Uh, just that when you uh, when you left-click, it rolls dice like in Dungeons & Dragons. It basically is like roll to hit, to crit, or to miss, or evade, or whatever. And like that's what's going on. The, the physical objects are calculated, but they're just local, like, they're just like local animations. They're not really what the real game is. They're not mechanically what's going on. They're just what's going on animation-wise. Um, if I'm going in a tight circle and shooting lasers and stuff, the lasers I see may be different than yours, just because on your screen they may shoot out at a different time. Everything's only guaranteed to be consistent on a given client. Um, the actual mechanics are consistent for everyone. That's the game we're playing. That's the actual GSF game. The rest is pretty graphics and stuff. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.